Hey guys, it's Tyler. What's up? Um, so I've got all kinds of crazy updates, and it all happened within the past like 18 hours. Um, first off, I'm kind of bummed out because Sam, my girlfriend, um, she had to go home. She left like an hour ago. She's going home for three weeks to go have surgery. She's had her tonsils taken out, um, and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get to see her over that period of time, so that sucks, but I do plan to go down there as much as I can. But anyway, knowing she was leaving last night, uh, I decided, me and some friends decided we were going to go out, and you know, I was going to take her out with us, so we wish she could have a good time before, you know, she has to go out surgery. And, uh, so we head out to, uh, a bar in Dallas, and, um, <clears throat> Goddess and she were playing there last night, um, it's the band that Shane had play for Carmen before their wedding, uh, female hip-hop group, really cool. Um, and then opening act for them was the Dukes of Dallas, which was a drag show. And Sam was having a blast, because this was her first time in a bar or at a club or anything like that. Because uh, she's only 20, she'll be 22, or 21 in like two months, so I'm waiting on that. But anyway, so we're having a good old time, you know, drinking, dancing, whatever. Um, I discovered that my knowledge of how to two-step comes in handy. I totally, I don't know. I knew Sam grew up pretty country, but I totally forgot that, you know, hey, I can impress her. I know how to dance two-step, and not too many guys do. So, country song comes on, because the TGRA, which is Texas Gay Rodeo Association, came to the show last night as well. And, uh, you know, they turn on country, and I kind of get this grin on my face, and Sam's like, what? And uh, I was like, let's go dance. And she's like, you know how to two-step? And I was like, yeah. So we go out there, and we dance, and, you know, have a whole good time. So then the show starts, you know, the show starts, and uh, then after the show, we were uh, we were at the bar, and this guy kept messing with Sam. He kept talking to her and putting his hands on her, and, you know, she told him to stop, and I said, you know, hey, look, you really need to stop. And uh, he just kept on keeping on, and so I let him know what was up. I decked the crap out of him, and in the process, I managed to uh, break my middle knuckle. Stuff. That's why I've got this on here. Um, so, yeah, you know, I hit him, and then obviously we have to leave because A, bars don't want you there if you're fighting, and B, I kind of need to get to the ER so I could get the shots that you need when you, uh, it's called uh, Fight Bite. It's bacteria in your mouth that can cause big problems. So, you know, we're headed back home, blah, 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 and I'm, I'm kind of drunk and having a good time with my friends, still pretty pleased that, you know, I laid the dude out. So, you know, we're joking around in the car on the way home, blah, blah, blah. And we drop our friends off at their place, and then on the way to the hospital, I started freaking out because I was like, oh, no, I've never been, you know, I haven't been to the hospital since I've been passing with any regularity or even I haven't been to the doctor since I had my name legally changed. You know, oh, God, what is this going to be? So then I started thinking, you know, I was like, I was like, oh no, you know, I just got this whole new gym, I can't work out now because, well, it hurts. I can't write, I can't do anything with my right hand. And then I got really freaked out. Um, I know y'all probably noticed I'm not binding. I can't get a binder on. I have no idea what I'm going to do about that. I mean, I, I, I tried, I can't. So that's going to be, and, you know, Sam's gone, so she she can't, usually, you know, she helps me with it in the morning because they're pretty tight. And she's gone, and I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. But good things come out of this story, I promise. So we get to the hospital, and I realize that I've got to check in under my birth name because I don't have a new insurance card with Tyler on it. So, you know, I kind of grin and bear it, and... You know, whatever. So I'm trying to fill out the paperwork left-handed, and it's not working. And Sam's like, you know, here, hon, let me do that. So Sam fills it all out. She writes down my birth name and, you know, hands it to the lady. And the lady's, you know, sir and, you know, he and all this talking about me and to me. And um, so Sam writes down my birth name. 
she hands the lady, and we go sit down, and she was like, um, sir, what, I, I need your name. And I just kind of, oh, that is my name. Oh, ow, little one, no, 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 I love you, not that side. Anyway, so, that hurt. So she's like, okay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then we sit there for like 10 minutes or so, and they take me back to triage, you know, where they take your blood pressure, your temperature, and, you know, intake stuff. So I get back there, <clears throat> and I explain to the lady what happened, you know. And uh, she, t she takes my blood pressure, and my blood pressure is back down to normal. So that was a really good update, because I was going to have to make a doctor's appointment about that. But working out has gotten it, has got, uh oh, bought my camera. But uh, apparently working out has gotten my blood pressure down to a tolerable level, and I'd been smoking and drinking all night, which doesn't help it, so it must be fantastic by now. So, you know, she takes all that, she gives me my bracelet, puts it on, We go, and Sam and I go back to the, uh, to the wait, they sent us back out to the waiting room. And uh, so I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm trying to distract myself with anything and everything I can to forget about the fact that my, pain, my hand hurts because they still haven't given me anything for it. So I run through everything in the, in the lobby area that I could entertain myself, and I was out of stuff. So uh, finally I started playing with the little bracelet they gave me, right? And I'm kind of irritated because it says my birth name on it. But I'm looking at it, and all of a sudden I start laughing and getting giddy and just happy as could be. I was so stoked. It was ridiculous. And Sam's looking at me like I'm freaking crazy. And I was like, hun, hun, look. Those beautiful things. See if I can show this to y'all. You see that right there? 22M. They have me in there as male. I was so happy. So in the middle of all this, they come to get me to take my x-rays. And then the doctor comes back, and I'm still pretty stoked. And uh, he's like, you know, you may be the happiest patient I've ever had with a broken hand. And I was like, yeah, dude, you, it, it, you don't even understand. And I was like, but unfortunately, I have to correct something. Because, you know, I use my parents' insurance. Like, I'm covered on that. And I couldn't imagine, you know, if I left it, my documents there saying mail, and they filed it with insurance, and insurance is like, uh, I don't think so. And my parents got that bill. They don't take to this well enough. If I could not throw it in their faces anymore, that'd be great. But, um, yeah. So, I got a broken hand, but I did shutting an asshole up, if that counts for anything. Um, and the hospital totally... Had me as male. Yes. That's all I got for you. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.